You are watching Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Wilpasi, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to take a look at Slime for the uh, Nintendo Switch. So here's the deal with that. Um, we were eventually going to pick up this game because, you know, wait for a sale or whatnot, but then I got an email from, um, well, let me check the credits real quick. I got an email from uh, Fabian Restorfer, and um, I probably just butchered that name terribly. <laughs> but yeah, um, it was like, hey, um, thought you might want to check out this game. And I realized that, yeah, yeah, I do, actually. I was kind of wondering about it, but I was looking at, like, the screenshots in the eShop. I just couldn't quite pull the trigger. And you know what? I was a little hesitant, but as I'm going to show you in just a quick look at this game, maybe I shouldn't have been so hesitant, too. I mean, seriously, let's look at these music composers here. We have... Uh, Meganico, Adhesive Wombat, Carl Clark, Phantom Mank, Inverse Phase, who I have a lot of his stuff. I, I like that guy. He's pretty cool. Commissar, Kubi, Luminaton, um, Michael Miller, Miss Caparella, Richard Gold, Sad Actor Ali, Tiasu, Edgar Castro Sr. Jr., Extra Sounds by Maghast99freesounds.com, because there's a couple of those in there. Then there's a couple things in sound design, like apparently um, some stuff that Britt Brady, Brady did. Um, he was using like actual bananas for some of these sound effects. But yeah, let's get out of here for a second and uh, talk about this game. Slime Zan. It's not so much retro as in it's like 5-bit, because there's like 5 colors. Um, the basic idea is that you were playing the sa this slime, slam, the slam, the slam. You're a slan. You're the superior human. And if you know that reference, good for you. Anyways, um, you are Slime San, and uh, you have been, well, swallowed by a terrible worm. You're feeling a little weird. Have you visited Slime San's house yet? I actually have not, so I'm actually about nine levels into this in the normal mode, and there's about apparently like 400 levels or something like that. It's ridiculous. Oh boy. So, let's talk a little bit about this. Oh, there's a house. Run and jump? More like slime and jump. Actually, meanwhile, back at Slime Son's lovely home. Jump. Uh huh. Macaulay Culkin. You, little one. You worried about your dad? It's all good. He was hanging with Birdie and the rest of my crew. They're tough. No one messes with them. They call them the Beaker Gang. No way. The aviator. Wait, the aviators. Hang on. I got a better one. The Fighty Flights. What about the Commandos? Uh, never mind. The Dashing Dino Descendants. Or or the Bertalicious Cox. I'm saying it out loud. That last one is too weird. Yeah. Oh, look, look. Um. Hey, neighbor. My eyes are up here. Okay. Oh, weird. I actually have not been to this yet. Greeting, fellow slime. My name is Omeria, and my silent friend over here is JC. We're merchants that travel all the way from Blob. What? You don't know what Blob is? Blorbital lo lunar occultic base. Occult space, obviously. Still nothing? Giant arena slime warriors fighting for their life? No. Hmm. Anyway, we sell jars and blocks. Now, these are useless items. Are rude. They're super useful for adventurers. Actually, I don't know what you buy here. But I'm a little intrigued. I guess in this little area you're playing as a... Greetings! Up here, my singular, slimetacular companion. I have horrid news, I'm afraid. My skizzing over yonder, most saw the most gruesome sight, your father and my inscrutable cousin Bertie got eaten by a giant worm. In speakable horror, I am very apologetic for your impending sorrow. What? Okay, let's get back to the settings. Hmm. So, you can actually keep track of what's going on in, um, 
Have you found the any end hidden indie stars yet? What? I don't know what they're doing with that. Anyways. Oh, um, I guess what I'm doing is I'm playing as one of uh Slime Son's kids or something. Blob. Oh hey neighbor. I was a hag blagon. I've read I've been reading the latest mangas and stuff. Go outside with you, me? <laughs> Um, this is embarrassing. Not sure I can anymore. The exit's a bit small. You've gone ahead. I've got plenty to keep me busy. Yep, yep. Everything's just fine. This is a weird game. Um, this is actually not what the normal gameplay is like. This is, uh... This is, I guess, back at your house. Find out what, like, I am so ticked off right now. Until just came up to me and, like, said, Sup, slime? 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 Hello, I'm obviously a jelly. Like, OMG, just because I live in a town of slimes, I, I, I... <laughs> oh my god. I literally, I literally can't even right now. No, oh, this game is pretty funny. Um, this is the village of slimes. I guess there's more stuff you can do. Oh, wow, there's all sorts of weird little... I haven't even run into this stuff in the game yet. Hmm. But that's interesting. Those are characters that. Oh, wow, look at that. Eldest son. Hey, what are you doing on the roof, bro? Huh? Me? Oh, well, I'm the oldest to get back here anytime. Shoo. Go away. Let me get back to my music. Uh, uh huh. Yeah. Slime down the streets, rapping with sick beats, sticky to the skin, squishy to the core. Once you had some slime, you just want some. You just want some more. Mm -mm, yeah, yeah. Man, DJ Slime, let me know some stuff or slime. Yeah. Anywho, I am not sure what is actually going on here. Um. Oh. This main area plays a little bit like the actual game, so I guess it's a good little way to safely test out techniques and things. I don't know what that is, I'm gonna find out. Oops, I'm sorry, right, now I've gone and done it. Did you just eat my apples? Oh, and I get down there. Oh, I just did eat all his apples. My apples are right. Oh, whatever. <laughs> um, if you're not really sure what it is I'm actually doing here, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. Yeah, this game was provided um, to us by the developers, and um, so far I have to applaud the weird sense of humor that it has, and what I'm doing here actually has no bearing in the actual game, I, at least as far as I know. I mean, it just gives you a chance to control, I guess, the slime's kid and um, see what's happening outside of that snake. Anywho, let's get back to these main settings. Yeah, right now I actually haven't really played any of the actual game. And <laughs> you kind of want me to play the actual game to show you some of the actual gameplay. Well, there's shopping. You can actually let's see extras are boss rush, new game plus, speed rating modes. Ooh, random levels, a test room. Ah, so I need to unlock the uh, new game plus difficulty and the boss rush modes. There's a lot to this game. I think this game is like eleven dollars and ninety nine cents. Um, there's a lot packed into here. Like, for example, let's go shopping. Um, let's see. Well, that one over there says Tall Tale. Hmm. Town Market. There are secret characters hidden in some levels. Of course there are. Of course there are. Yeah. Okay. I am not going to tell you what you do with those, or what you buy with them, or what you can buy at those. I do want to show you this thing, though. This is kind of interesting. Oh, wait. I need to get over here. There we go. Yeah, this one, if you have a certain amount of coins, I don't have a lot of coins. 
you can buy extra games to play. Yup. This one is weird. It's a uh, RPG. This one, I don't know what it means. It's a bullet hell shoot him up. Oh. Escalating yokai chasing after you. Oh man, I can't wait to unlock all that stuff. But you can find coins hidden in some of the levels and uh, you can use it to buy it. There's like, you also get stuff with the apples that you, that you buy. Yep, that lets me know how much I've got in there. Completion status, 6%. Total coins, 15 out of 1. 1 out of 15. Total tro trophies, 1 out of 101. Apples, 41 out of 4. 400. Yep. Loading client's account information. At a level with long moving platforms. Huh, so they kind of let you know. But the basic idea is that this whole little town is technically inside of the snake. Which is why the uh, border looks the way it does. Which you can edit that border, by the way. And you could change the style of your slime or of, or of your uh, bird. You can do beanies, so you can look like uh, H3H3. Some beats, so you're like from Splatoon. Cute little bow for cute little slime. Cute bunny outfit. You can be a pirate. You can be the president of the United States. You can be a Trump slime. That's awesome. Funky yet adventurous. Nerd glasses. You a scarf. Twirly mustache. A uh, sunglasses and a top hat. And, or you can change the way the bird looks. A pretty fly bandana, glasses, hat, pants. <laughs> I, I love the fake arms on the bird. Awesome. A little bowl haircut, some more headphones, bows, beanies, um, bir uh, bird caps, a rooster stuff, and uh, shades. Mm hmm. Oh, when you're talking to some of these characters. <laughs> Yeah, you can hear all this stuff, like, kind of similar to, like, when you're talking to someone in Banjo-Kazooie or in Ukulele. Yep. Right up here's the artwork. But yeah, let's get out of here for a moment. I mean, there's more places to visit, but we're not going to do that yet. Yet. So, uh, what to do now? Oh, before we go into the actual game, let's go into the settings. One thing you might notice, there's audio settings, gameplay settings, a cutscene viewer where you can view any unlocked cutscenes, or this right here which is very important, the visual settings. I can change and disable the grain effect on the visual effects, and so everyone can play, you have your default stuff and then you have various colorblind options. So if you're a person who has a uh, uh, duraternophonia, you can change it to so it's something you can see. Try uh, tritanophobia, trinopia, or whatever, I don't know how to pronounce that, or protinopia. So in other words, you can make this game visible in any of those things, just just for people who are colorblind. And I think that's considering how important the color is. <sighs> That is a good idea. Pretty good. But yeah, let's get into the actual game. Uh, let me show you a little bit about what, how you play this game. Well, this game, my friend, is... Um, it's a bit like Super Meat Boy is the best way to put it. Okay. You, you jump up the walls by hitting the jump button. I'm actually playing this game currently with the uh, um, Pokemon Tournament Controller. So. You can hold the L button to phase through certain objects and slow down time. And you hit the R button to dash. You hit the X button to uh, change the camera angle a bit. And... Yep. Satisfyingly slimy! If I had to beat that in under 25 seconds, I would have gotten a trophy. Hmm, zero deaths though. Now, when you're in those levels, you can pick up apples. And if you pick up the apples, 
you can uh, buy stuff. Which is pretty good. Yeah. Whew. This is a pretty good game. Um, I've actually been up for a little while playing this game and uh, checking it out. In terms of, uh, let me go to where I am currently. I had a bit of downtime because I've been working on editing and such on other videos, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to try and fit this one in here because this is a pretty good game so far. It features 100% real slime. Some of the levels get pretty tough. Oop. When you die, it checkpoints you back to like the, the beginning there, but... Oh, you can also change it so that it doesn't leave like a oh, slime trail. Because as you go through this, you'll see like a slime trail that kind of tells you how you've been. Oops. Okay. Now we know. I'm just gonna stay here for a little bit. I didn't really feel like those. Oh, as the um, game progresses, you'll um, notice that that stuff will start oozing out of there. And if you're not careful, you'll get killed by it. Red objects hurt you, by the way. Or they might not always be red. So that's why there's colorblind options. When you hold down the L button, you get to phase through stuff. Ooh, what's over there? Oh, looks like that was some kind of, uh... Frogato. Yikes, now I've gone and done it. I was on my way to Nene's house and got swallowed by this bird. How am I supposed to find a job now? What? There's a town of survivors in here? I wonder if anyone's looking to hire. I don't know what that does, but it gave me a coin. Sweet. Next level. Check out extra modes and level select. Yep. Oh, what's this? Helpful sign. I can dash and jump. Oh, I can dash and jump in the water. Oh, there's water. Huh. Oh. Obviously avoid that stuff. Oh, wait. Hmm. Yeah, if it seems too small, just, uh... Oh no. Prepare to die quite a bit, actually, in this game. I actually suggest people check out the uh, Pokemon controller if you have it already, if you don't have it already, or picking up a 8-bit uh, dough controller. Because, like, seriously, this thing demands you use a bad for it. And that's just fine. I'm kind of digging this game, actually. It's pretty good. Ah! Just keep hitting everything. It's easy to overshoot where you are. <laughs> yes. It keeps track of all of my deaths. But I don't have any deaths ever. Zero deaths, fam. Zero deaths. Yeah, because we're the greatest. There we go. Oh wow, um, I don't want to touch those. Oh no, that follows me, that follows me. Stop following me. Oh, I can dash down. That's good to know. Well, I kind of want that 
stuff down there. I don't want any of that. <laughs> Excellent. Now the apples aren't too hard to get a hold of. The interesting and tricky part is finding those coins, which I'm looking forward to finding the rest of those coins so I can unlock some of those arcade games. Because, like, those sound awesome. So, yeah, um, are you a fan of Super Meat Boy? If you are a fan of Okay, here comes the fun part. Got it. And we got our apple. We're hungry for apples. Nope. 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 Leave me alone. I wonder if red apples would kill me. No, no. Stay away. No, okay. No. I should be able to attach myself to that. Right? that? I don't know if I can really attach to that. Oh, wait. Um, let's see. No, I don't seem to be able to attach to that. Oh, wait, I guess I can. Okay. Now we just gotta wait until we're close enough. I'm not trying for any of the trophies right now. I will later on. Yeah. Your slow mode does not slow down the timer. Okay. Oh. I don't know what we're doing here. Oh no. Okay. Huh. So, uh, that just... Oh, wait. Got it. Huh. 
I don't know what's going on here. Oh, um, welcome to our world famous onsen. Um, the rest within better. This is the wait, wait a minute. You are slime. Get out here. This place is for worms only. Yeah, unbelievable. Skedaddle. No. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay then. I've spent almost half an hour playing this game, showing you a little bit about it, and it is pretty sweet. Okay, now what I do? Oh, this is those. Oh no, no. start. Oh, it's coming. And we died. Oh, yes. This is one of those things where, um, as you can tell, <laughs> this is some good stuff. If you're a fan of like ultra challenging side scrollers, like um, you know, like like I said, Super Meat Boy. Ooh, almost.
seriously, this game here, um, I'm gonna be playing this for a little while past this, but I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, end our, quote, quick look, <laughs> because, um, not really a quick look, is it? Um, if it's, like, 30 minutes long. So, um, I guess the best way to look at this would be to say that so far I like this. I will do a review of it later on, and we'll go over more of the game's replayability and more of its options. But for right now, I think it's pretty good. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Hit that share button if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also, if you hit that subscribe button, make sure that you also hit that little bell so that you are notified whenever we have any brand new videos here on Area DMG. And until the next video comes out, you are now caught up.